Hey guys, welcome to Jeff's Adventures. Today we're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, checking out the home of the Milwaukee Brewers. This is formerly Miller Park, and now it's American Family Field. And I'm going to take you on the VIP tour today. So let's take a look. Now there's just a couple minutes before the tour starts, but this is a quick look inside. Got the team store over here. And that's a lot of hats. And here is some game used memorabilia and some signed baseballs. Now the prices are kind of outrageous in here. Um, just a little tip, you can probably find it a lot cheaper on eBay. Just make sure it's authenticated or know your signatures. Now we're just waiting for them to let us in. Now these tours, I believe they happen uh, Monday through Fridays during the game or during the season. Tickets are 15 bucks. Welcome to the PNC club level. Now this would be a pretty great place to see a game. Now it looks like they cater lunches and dinners up here and they have their own private floor and then they have a couple of rows out front that have tickets uh, where you can see the game from outside. Now this is pretty cool because these are parts of the ballpark that usually are not open to the public. Um, we're going to go into Bob Uecker's booth in just a bit and then we're going to go into the players clubhouse. So make sure you catch that. That sits on the footprint of our old Milwaukee County Stadium. You saw that in the movie. The true home plate where Milwaukee County Stadium sat is marked by a plaque just above the third base dugout at Hellfair Field. They wanted to originally set it up so the the, the Now, if you're a Brewers fan like me and a general overall baseball guy, this is where you would want to be. This is the holy grail here. This is Bob Euchre's box. This is where he broadcasts the Brewers games for WTMJ. There's some down here and some if you want to stand up there, but you're more than welcome to come down here if you want. Pardon my crappy camera work here. So this is our radio broadcast booth. Um, our radio station, our local radio station here in Milwaukee is WTMJ. They're our flagship radio station. Um, they broadcast the games locally and then they also broadcast the games out to other radio stations throughout the state of, state of Wisconsin, the Brewers Radio Network. Those little radio stations pay a broadcast rights fee to the Brewers and to WTMJ to broadcast the games and then they get to sell ads um, in their local community, the local hardware store, uh, grocery store, um, cards will be Lane Grindle and Jeff Lemmer. I really want to get good shots of some of this stuff, but there are a few people kind of getting in the way here.
all these uh, universities in Nebraska and stuff, right? Okay. And which one is that? Is that, is that uh, this is Lane Grindle, and this is Jeff Levering. Um, this is Pat Hughes, Full Block, Corey Provis. Here's another press box. This one obviously seats quite a few more people, but uh, this is a pretty darn good view from up here. Give you a little peek at the field. Wouldn't be a bad place to watch all the games. Now behind me here, this is not a very safe place to sit. All these spots right here that you see behind me are all foul balls that have come back here, and they do label some of them. So you do have to be paying attention while you're up here, because uh, a lot of balls will come over the screen and get into the, into the press box. They used to fix that every year, and then the members of the media said that was kind of cool that you're marking the names and all that, so they haven't fixed it in a few years. Um, the walls are getting closed, if we can close everything up, we can turn on the heaters and we can heat the temperature about 30 degrees above the outside temperature. So we can make it very comfortable here at the ballpark. Um, we consider ourselves a baseball stadium with a retractable roof. We do not consider ourselves a dome stadium. Um, ball. Uh, when he was elected into the this hall really is one of the nicer ballparks that there is around the country. Now, do you want to check out the tunnel and the uh, the clubhouse? Let's go. Now, this is the downstairs hall tunnels. This is where the visitor clubhouse is, and the Brewers clubhouse is right down here on the left. There's also an interview room down here, and this is where they keep the bullpen cart and this uh, this other golf cart with a sausage on it. Now this is the infamous interview room. The press will sit up here in these seats and usually Craig Council or whoever the the star player of the day is will sit up here fielding questions. Craig Council will sit after the game and get peppered with questions. Um, this is where we'll have any big brewer announcements, trades, things like that, signings. Um, we use this for our old bullpen cart. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember, but back in the day, if you called in a reliever from the bullpen, that's what they went out to get you with. They drive around the warning track and they bring the reliever in and, and drive him into the home plate or to home plate area and then he'd go out to pitch. Uh, that was put in storage somewhere and somewhere came someone came across it a couple of years ago. The Brewers um, <coughs> repurchased it and it's been here ever since. Now next to him, how many how many stadiums have you been to that has a sausage on top of a golf cart? Only in Wisconsin, right? Now the Brewers Clubhouse is off limits today, but we will go into the Visitors Clubhouse. Now it's kind of cool because they've been using this clubhouse for 20, about 20 years, 21 years. So most of the greats that you can think of over the last 20 years have been in this locker room. It's just kind of cool because it's not something, it's a place where you can normally just wander into. But uh, this tour is absolutely worth doing. I gotta wet my whistle. Okay. Um, the clubhouse staff, the visiting clubhouse staff, is out in Arizona with the team for spring training. So they'll break for um, for home here now. They'll probably be home in the next day or so, and then they'll get this ready. As you can see, all of these extra tables and lockers, these are some of the things that were out in that hallway. So it's still kind of getting ready for the season, obviously. A little bit of run through of how this all works. When the visiting teams come in, the traveling secretary for the team knows exactly what our locker room looks like, our clubhouse. So they will, he will fax us, email us, 
um, where he wants the seating chart. When the players come in, their number will be up above the locker room all the way around, um, not their name, because the names change all the time. Over in the Brewers Clubhouse, they have their last names. Here it'll just be a number. Players will come in and all of their uniforms will be hung up. All of the, anything that special that they want in their locker is contained in a locker bag. So when they travel, example, they'll get to the airport here in Milwaukee, they'll unload the plane, there'll be a couple of buses for all the players, and then there'll be a big straight truck to take all the equipment. The truck will drive right up that concourse we were just walking on, everything will be unloaded, all of the players' locker bags with their number on it, that's how we can signify it, will have that in there and the, the staff will put all of their things in their locker for them. When they travel in, if they're coming from another city, those uniforms will usually be dirty. They don't wait to get the uniforms clean at the game. When the game ends here in Milwaukee and, and the visiting team's going on, all of their uniforms get put into a hamper, a big hamper like that in big bags, and that all gets loaded up and sent to the next city. So when they come into Milwaukee here, the staff will be waiting for it and they will launder all of those uniforms and get it all ready. Now everybody, just like when you were little kids and mom and dad put all your names and your initials on your, on your clothes so you didn't lose them at school, they do the same thing. All of the players have their number on every sock and every uniform so they know exactly who it goes to. Yes. We used to we used to break we used to lose um, a lot of um, sinks and toilets before we put that punching bag up. And once we put the punching bag up, uh, we didn't we, we didn't break any more toilets. Save a lot of money. Yes. So we're in the visitors' dugout. The Brewers' dugout is right across the, the way. Um, most of the time when the players are here, they will sit up on this bench right up here. They'll sit up there for a couple of reasons. One, they sit up a little bit higher, and you're more than welcome to sit down on it if you want. Um, they sit up a little bit higher so they can see what's going on on the field. It's padded, so if you're sitting for a long amount of time, long period of time, it's not hard. And also, on a cold day like today, there's a heat duct that runs all the way underneath there. It actually heats the seat for them. So it makes good use of the word bench warm. Now they do have to pay attention while they're sitting here because baseballs will come through the openings. They'll come over the top. If you look and glance kind of down the hallway, down the way, you're going to see where there's dents and dings in here. This one. Picture the whole family on the rail. Come on. On, on the other side, or you want this side? What do you think? You want to lean on like that? Like, yeah, okay. So if you take your feet and you kind of just grind it in here a little bit, you're going to feel it feels kind of Colorado and Bravo. And they make it crunchy so the players, as they're coming off the field or going for a fly ball, they know that they're getting close to the edge. Now, in Major League Baseball, the only thing that is the same in every ballpark is the distance to the baseman, the distance to the pitching mark, and the height of the pitching mark. Every baseball park has different foul pole lengths, foul pole lengths. Well, that just about wraps up the tour. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and give the channel a subscribe. I'm just getting this channel started out, but there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff coming up. That I can promise you. 
But thanks a lot for tuning in. Have a great night, everybody.